In this video, I will be explaining about Proxy Mobile IPv6. It is a network based mobility management protocol. In this video, I will be explaining about the terminologies and, uh, and how does Proxy Mobile IPv6 work, what, what is the exact problem that we are going to solve with Proxy Mobile IPv6, um, how, how it basically works, so it's the concept. and the advantages of proxy mobile ip so proxy mobile ipv6 is a network based mobility management protocol and the main thing that we see in this keyword is proxy mobile ipv6 so it is a ip mobility solution which uses mobile ipv6 and also is a proxy so first let's talk about mobile ipv6 Mobile IPv6 is a IP mobility solution which allows the mobile node to move from one network, that's the one access router, to the other access router and to maintain a connection by giving a new IP address that is the care of address. So if the mobile node is connected to this access router, it will have a care of address 1. When it changes, then it gets a new care of address and care of address 2. So proxy mobile IPv6 uses mobile IPv6 so there is a concept of care of address but it is a network based mobility management protocol. So the solution of IP mobility is implemented in the network and the mobile node is not involved in the IP mobility solution. So it is not aware of what's going so how can we achieve mobile IPv6 as a network based mobility management solution? So the idea is to use one of the elements in the network as a proxy for the mobile node. So one of the elements in the network will act as a proxy for the mobile node and the care of address will not be assigned to the mobile node rather the care of address will be with the proxy for the mobile node so it may be the access router so care of address will be not will not be assigned to the mobile node so the proxy mobile ipv6 solution is a mobile ipv6 solution where one of the network elements acts as a proxy for the mobile node now if we see the elements or the terminologies that we use in the mobile IPv6 mobile IPv6 we have the correspondent node who is sending the data to the mobile node and uh, the mobile node is connected to access router and mobile node has a home agent and now if we look at the elements or the terminologies used in the proxy mobile IPv6 architecture we have the correspondent node which is communicating with the mobile node and we have the local mobility anchor which is equivalent to the home agent in mobile IPv6 and a mobile access gateway which typically resides with the access router or which may be a function in the access router which keeps track of the mobile node and the domain where the proxy mobile IPv6 is implemented is called the proxy mobile IPv6 domain or localized mobility domain so there are two names here. If we look into more details of each of these elements, the local mobility anchor has a data structure which maintains the binding cache entry of the mobile node. In mobile IPv6, the binding cache entry was maintained by the home agent. The same data structure is present in the local mobility anchor but it is slightly extended for the proxy mobile IPv6. So if we look at the extended 
elements few of the elements that are added to binding cache in tree data structure are the mobile node id so this is in the lma so lma contains the binding cache entry which has the mobile node id home network prefix is a prefix assigned by the lma to the mobile node the mac that's the mac to which the mobile node is connected and the flags uh, that indicate that this is a proxy uh, binding update which was received and for that proxy binding update the binding cache entry was made so we will see all the details in future in proxy mobile ipv6 the mobile access gateway actually acts as a proxy for the mobile node so the details of mobile access gateway are present in the binding cache entry and also uh, in the mobile ipv6 the binding cache entry had details like care of address so basically the binding cache entry has the details that is used to reach the mobile node so the care of address was there in the mobile ipv6 and the care of address here will be the address of the mag because mag is now acting as a proxy for the mobile node and that details will be there in the binding cache entry the mag also has a data structure which is the binding update list uh, the major difference between the proxy mobile ipv6 and the mobile ipv6 is this binding update list that is in mobile ipv6 the binding update list was maintained by the mobile node so the binding update list was in the mobile node the details in binding update list in mobile ipv6 was something like care of address home address uh, the refresh rate the expiry time of the binding update and all those details were in the binding update list and the same binding update list is maintained by the mobile access gateway but with some additional information like the interface in the mag to which the mobile node is connected and also the uh, lma the local mobility anchor serving this mobile node all these details will be there in the binding update list and it is maintained by the mag for the mobile node in proxy mobile ipv6